Handy Tech Under 100. Welcome back to Handy Tech Under 100, where whether you're a Mac or a PC or a pioneer from 200 years ago who's still alive somehow, we've got something for you. And we've also got a sponsor, Volta. This first one feels totally sci-fi, but then at the same time, I'm like, I'm kind of surprised that you don't just see it everywhere. This is the Beam Authentic, and it's basically a wearable diff. This smart button connects to a slightly confusing companion app that lets you create, upload, and share images that you can then beam, <laughs> ah, there you go, right to your lapel. You can show a single image, a GIF, or create a slideshow, and you can attach the button with the included magnets or a good old-fashioned pin. Battery life, eh, it varies, so it ranges from four to 24 hours, depending on your content. So mostly white images take much more power, and mostly black ones take much less. Also, your brightness settings and whether you're displaying pictures or GIFs affect battery life too. Now, sadly, the Beam typically retails for a preposterous $120, but you can get 25 bucks off by choosing white instead of the presumably more popular black, which makes it just barely eligible for this series. There's also another brand called Pins Collective that's $10 cheaper, but we haven't tried those and the screen to body ratio looks slightly worse. Next up, we've got the Volta XL. Now, you may remember the Volta charging cable from a previous Handy Tech, but they came back to sponsor this video because they've got a new cable that's compatible with all USB-C power delivery devices for fast charging, which is like faster than regular charging, or as I call it, slow charging. The more powerful Volta XL can push up to 87 watts, so that's enough to charge a MacBook Pro through its USB Type-C magnetic tips that are even stronger than before. And like before, you simply plug the tip into your device, this end of the device, and leave it there, snapping the magnetic cable on when it's time to charge. The lower power Volta, which has also been redesigned and is available for non-fast charging devices, has tips for all sorts of ports. But while they plan to release lightning port compatible tips for the Volta XL in the future, that's contingent on their Indiegogo campaign going well, so check it out at the link below and to get cheaper shipping at an early bird $35 price. Next, also for $35, we've got a trip down Nostalgia Lane for anyone born between 1975 and the year 2000. Just kidding, it's dysentery. <laughs> Everyone's favorite settler simulator, Oregon Trail, is now a convenient handheld game. It's the same old trail you remember, that is unless your elementary school had uh, Apple machines in its computer lab, in which case the hunting is super different, complete with 8-bit sound, the ability to save your game, and of course, measles. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say snake bite, didn't you? Well, I might have, but I didn't want uh, this joke to die of exhaustion. <laughs> the blocky form factor is comfortable for adult-sized hands, but I do really wish that they had made the screen bigger, especially since they've clearly got the space for it. But I don't know, I mean, hey, at least it comes with batteries. So I'm recommending that you go out and get yourself one of these at a grueling pace. Next up, how do I turn the volume up? There we go. <laughs> you can bring your Windows 10 desktop PC to the 21st century with these nifty Windows Hello peripherals. I've got two here from different brands. The first is a USB fingerprint reader from PQI for 30 bucks. There is zero installation for this thing. You just plug it into an available USB port, head to your Windows sign-in options, and add your fingerprint. You can add up to 10 fingerprint IDs, and then each ID can have multiple prints stored, so it's good for the whole family. It's FIDO certified, it's got built-in breath sensing, and it can be used to log into password managers like LastPass and NPass. Sticking it in your tower's front I.O. lets you unlock the machine in a tenth of a second, at least if your hands are dry. Um, if your hands are wet, then it's probably better to have this one. 
Facial recognition, damn it. It's better to have this one. This facial recognition camera from Mouse is twice the price, but your machine will also be unlocked before your butt hits the chair and you can use it as a crummy webcam. My main gripe with this thing is just that the weight of the cable can kind of pull the camera off kilter, but your mileage may vary on that one. Finally, for the Mac people out there, one more thing. This beautiful USB-C hub from Satechi is designed for Thunderbolt 3 equipped iMacs and iMac Pros that aren't broken. And it installs effortlessly into the vents on the bottom of the screen. Lord knows those vents had to do something and it sure isn't cooling it. <laughs> now finally, you don't have to use the old reach around technique every time you wanna plug something in. Though you do still have to use two hands to keep the whole machine from sliding because I guess a you know rubber piece on the bottom of the aluminum stand was too much to ask for. The hub offers SD and micro SD ports, three USB 3.0 ports, and one USB type C port. But be aware that the hub is unpowered, so we don't recommend charging your phone or especially high draw devices like tablets through it but the USB spec does include a minimum level of power delivery and we were able to plug in three LED backlit keyboards simultaneously, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about power management compared to older USB 2 hubs. Also, bonus point Satechi for doing such a dang good job with the color matching. Now for the transparency bit of this video. We reached out to Beam Authentic for their smart pin and we bought everything else you see in this video from Amazon with our own money except for the Volta XL cable since this edition of Handy Tech was sponsored by Volta. The new Volta XL is super durable and hard to tangle and it even has that cool OTG feature so you can use one phone to charge another one. Be sure to check them out in the link below. So thanks for watching guys, if you disliked you can do that button if you do that button, wow. Or like or get subscribed or consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the links below. Also down there is our merch store which has cool shirts. That's awkward. And uh... Join our forum! <laughs>